What's going on guys, Samurai back at it with another reaction video and we have came all the way back to Paolo Nuntini. All the other three reactions I've done for him and the other songs that I've heard on my alone time have all really moved me in some sort of way. I love this dude's voice, his raspiness and the texture of his voice and the emotional delivery of his lyrics. Everything about him is just very old schoolish and it it, it it speaks to to me so i'm actually going to be doing a cover this time of the famous beatles song don't let me down i am very familiar with the song i know it i've heard several other covers of it and i just think it's a great song we're, we're just gonna keep it at that let's go ahead and check this out i feel like he has a great voice for this song so i, I think it'll be a good time. Nobody ever loved me like she does. Hmm. Oh, she does. Yes, she does. And if somebody loved me like she do me, oh, she do me. Yes, she does. Sounds like a rose piano in the back. Don't let me Just... down. Okay, there's the bass. Don't let me down. Definitely Don't a way different feel than the original. Don't let me down. I'm in love for the wow. first time. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Don't you know it's gonna last? So what I'm liking so far is really his take on the song and his particular delivery, which is very different from the original, which kind of has the it has the peaks and the valleys, and maybe this will kind of you know build itself up to something a little bit fuller a little bit more grand for lack of a better word but so far i'm really liking the low-key vibe of this where the original kind of you know when the, the chorus come in is don't let me down and it's kind of very there's more energy when the chorus comes in where this one at least so far he's just keeping the the slow really kind of low-key delivery and even the instrumentation and stuff um which is cool it gives it, it gives the song a, a whole different vibe it, it feels a little bit more intimate it feels a little bit more introspective and, and um emotional rather than the the um, original which feels a little bit more upbeat and uh yeah let's, let's keep going it's a love that lasts forever It's a love that had no past Don't let me down Don't let me down Don't let me down I love the embellishments of the the Rhodes piano on the right channel and then the guitar also on the left channel. They're playing some really cool fills and riffs there. And from the first time, there we go. First time that she, she really done me. Ooh, that's fire. Oh, she done me. She done me good. Yeah, come on, Paolo. Don't let me down. Oof. Don't let me down. Oh, 
the goosebumps are here. Got a goosebump check. This guy is special. He really kind of embodies the the old schoolness of music from that era. I know it kind of sounds cliche, and you know, I mean, everybody will say that music nowadays sucks. Blah blah blah. The mu- it's not like it was, you know, years ago where whatever decade people want to choose and talk about. <clears throat> and I don't necessarily agree with that line of thinking. Actually, I don't really agree with it at all. But there are there is some truth to it, the the vibe and the the way people crafted music back in the day, and the way people consume music and enjoy music is completely different from today. Whereas today, there's no effort involved, so I feel like a lot of people don't have the same emotional connection as people from back in the day, where you would have to go and buy the uh, the record or buy the cd in order to listen to it or borrow it from a friend and honestly i caught the very last part of that in the cd era and i think i I had a few cds but i was really kind of a kid at that point so i don't i mean i was there for it but did i really experience it no but i can understand how it's different nowadays where we don't have to do that and with that i feel like comes the the fact of everything is oversaturated you can listen to anything you want which is great but also there is the downside to it where you don't have the same emotional connection to it because you don't have to make any effort to go get the album and i've heard many stories of people that would wait for an artist to release a record go out buy the vinyl and then come back home and spend the whole day listening to it because they've been looking forward to that for so long that now that they finally have it they that that's all that they wanted to do and i i kind of wish i i experienced that really that would have been fun i think it would have given even me a, a deeper connection to the music and you know looking at the artwork and stuff and now i have vinyls and i you know, I actually don't listen to them as often as I probably should. But it, it is cool sitting back and just putting on the vinyl. It has its own feel to it, different from like a CD. And it has all the artwork and it's huge. And it you can really kind of appreciate every aspect of it. And I go on that long tangent to say that he really embodies, I feel like, the spirit of like the 70s and maybe like 60s and such. And you can feel like he, he sings from the soul. He sings from his heart. It's raw. You you know, his voice is so raspy. It's It really delivers the emotional impact of the songs that he sings very well. And this one, in instance, is another great example of him using his voice to portray a song in a different way. And it sounds great. Phenomenal. The guitar and the roads together, I feel like, really added this cool little atmosphere to the song. The bass and the drums were really locked in. They were kind of hidden a little bit just due to the quality, I think. A lot of that low-end information just sounded like some rumbling, and it wasn't very clear. And then the drums, uh, the transients weren't very clear. But anyways, that I mean, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, because this is recorded from a radio station, right, if I'm not mistaken. 
Well, I heard that, but it doesn't say anything about it here. But either way, I mean, a great rendition of a, a classic song. And if you're going to do a class, classic song, do a great rendition of it. And he did just that. So once again, I mean, this guy never disappoints. The other three reactions will be listed down below in the description if you want to go check those out. Shout out to Paulo Nutini. I hope to see him come back soon and give us uh, some more music. I haven't heard all of his stuff, but from the things I've heard or from the songs I've heard, I'm, I'm excited to hear more. And it'd be nice to, to see him come out back into the limelight. But I understand not wanting to be in the media and stuff like that. Um, I could definitely empathize with that a whole lot. But still, it would be nice. So we'll keep it at that, guys. Let me know what you think of this cover and the next Paul Nutini song we should get to. And um, yeah, this dude's phenomenal. So we'll keep it at that, guys. Arigato and sayonara.